Hey guys, it's your best fight friends. I'm Kelsey. This is Rachel. Rachel, I like to call this Throwdown Edition. Okay? <laughs> and here's how it works. Huge news. Conor McGregor accepting the Super Fight Challenge from Oscar De La Hoya, age 47, <laughs> former world boxing champion, of course, great boxing promoter. Rachel thinks, what do you think, Rachel? Are you taking Connor? Are you taking De La Hoya, my guy, De La Hoya? <laughs> I gotta say, just based on the data I have at my disposal, I gotta go Connor. So, and what? as a, like, Connor you know, De La Hoya? Are you saying Connor McGregor? Yeah. You, like, I thought you might have had, like, a pet name for Oscar for some reason. <laughs> as a, like, a boxing fan, you know, for, for years now, that's, like, a little hard for me to say because just like, I mean, if somebody comes to the boxing ring, I'm like the boxer's gonna win. If somebody goes to the octagon, guess what? The MMA fighter's gonna win. Connor coming to boxing, like it's hard for me to say, but like just based on my data, I don't think that Oscar has been in fighting condition for quite some time. And so I don't think he'd be able to put it all together. All right, well, while I love and respect Connor McGregor's stand up game, as you call it, UFC, I don't think there's any way he could compete. With Oscar De La Hoya, Hall of Famer, I think the problem, Rachel, is that people forget how great a fighter Oscar De La Hoya is. Look, I know he's only he's, he's a 47 years old or whatever. I know that sometimes he doesn't look super healthy. But I'll tell you this, sometimes he does look super healthy. So I'm saying he's the kind of guy that can and will You're just looking at how shape. he looks. You're not you're not seeing him like in doing any training. You're not even seeing him on a heavy bag. Like you're not seeing any. I saw clips like of him. He posted on Twitter of, of him in the bag. I mean, sure, it was from 20 years ago. <laughs> Listen, right. I'm saying that the things that Oscar De La Hoya knows in a boxing ring, he don't just forget with you know being a promoter and all the other shenanigans he probably gets into. Here's you know, the other thing that I will say for Connor is that he has art fought a professional fight now once. And I feel like he has a much better idea. And he wasn't horrible, like, coming in as a boxer in that fight. Some would argue, right? Like Some uh, have argued. Chill, Most notably, Chael Sonnen. Chael Sonnen. Like, ha has argued. That, that he was, you know, was winning. winning that fight. He was winning. And, and so, like, yeah, none of us, like, know for sure. So we can all have our opinions about I that. I know for sure. He was not winning that fight. <laughs> you know for sure. I thought he was winning. Yeah, if you, if you stop scoring it after the first three rounds. Yeah, but your your point is that you think Floyd was allowing that to happen. Oh yeah, Floyd didn't yeah. really train for that. But I I said that I'm that night. Saying, Hold on, I said that that night when we watched it that he didn't yeah, really train for that. Arguing and about then that. he revealed that himself years later. So I'm pretty smart. I'm saying you should go with me. De La Hoya is a he real all time great <laughs> Hall of Fame oh, multi division guy. The... Let's just look at common opponents. One got stopped in the tenth round. Sorry. Oscar won a won one of the scorecards when he fought De La Hoya. That was good. I mean, when he fought Floyd Mayweather. A long right, time yeah, ago. he lost by split decision. I'm just saying that Conor has more experience and he's current. He's currently doing the things that put somebody like in the ring to be successful. Uh, and I don't think Oscar is currently doing that. Nor do I think that he has done that for quite some time. So I just don't think that he would be able to pull it all together. All I know is this. And get it done. Look, all I'm saying is this. Oscar De La Hoya has competed against Hall of Fame, beaten Hall of Fame boxers. I think that he can get in the shape. I think that he knows how to fight a 12-round, three-minute round fight, right, that professional boxing is. I'm not convinced Conor can do that because it looked like about after about three or four rounds, Conor was pretty spent in the first fight. And I don't know how you had however long you had to train for that fight against Mayweather and, 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 and couldn't get yourself prepared for that. That makes me think that he can't do that. I think Oscar can move. I think he can win on points. And I think that really, I don't think he'd stop him in two rounds, but I think that after about round six or so, he's toast and Oscar is just going to be pot shot. I think Connor would be motivated because if he were to take on a super fight with Oscar De La Hoya and lose to a, to a retired as great as Oscar was, he's been retired and has not been boxing. To lose to that, that would be, I feel like it might, like, wreck. Like, I think it would be a huge, like, blowback to his career. I think he would be highly motivated I mean, to fight 12 three-minute rounds and do well at it. So, it that's where I stand. Let's talk it's about It's the trash fight of a century. Like, I thought that, <laughs> that Pacquiao versus McGregor was yeah. the trash fight of the century. But no, no, no. This is, because this is a truly... 
could see either thing happening. The other thing, I'm not even ninety nine percent sure Manny Pacquiao is going to run out to Conor McGregor, right? Yeah. I'm not sure what happened There's in this no fight, argument. but I am pretty. But let's just talk about this. Oscar has been offering this right. For some time. Yeah, yeah. For the last couple of years, he's been saying, I'll stop. It's gone two rounds. Why, why today, all of a sudden, is Connor like, I accept your challenge? Because Connor is... I accept your ongoing he, challenge Connor, you provided. This is quarantine, Connor. The last two Connor's years. in quarantine. He's bored. <laughs> and so he's reading every little random article at Boxing Scene. Or it actually originally happened. Brian Campbell interviewed her, Oscar De Loya, on his uh, State of Combat podcast, right? So he... Who's bored during quarantine? Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, <laughs> you, not everybody's an introvert like us, Rachel. Conor McGregor used to be in the life of the party or, be, you know, training and being around different people, going out and, you know, strut walking everywhere, <laughs> right? I mean, he's a different kind of guy and he's bored. So he sees that and he's like, and if you're Conor McGregor, you probably feel pretty confident that you could beat Oscar Bill Hoya, who's 47 That's years old. That's the only thing about and this you think whole it's thing a lot of money that you can make. That gives me like a, a slight bit of pause is that this is something that. Oscar's been saying for some time, kind of like a Pauli Malignaggi has been saying for some time, right? Like, uh, like there are people out there who, there's probably people the world over like, I'll fight Conor McGregor. Yeah. Does yeah. he want to fight me? I'm here. Take the challenge. But like Conor McGregor doesn't answer everything. So this is just sat out there. And then today all of a sudden he's like, I accept your challenge. I, I find that interesting. Maybe it's happening. I can't wait. If it does happen, I think it should happen on Dana White's Fight you, Island. No right? anything. And I think that... Real Talk is here for trash fights. On Fight Island. That's exciting what, trash fights. I don't yeah. need any boring trash fights. We're here for exciting trash fights, guys. Yep. You can call, think of us as your best trash fight friends. Your BTFs. <laughs> we like boxing. We like the UFC. We like, oh, we like pro wrestling. We like whatever. Whatever. There's people who run... What, what do we like? I don't know why I can't talk today. But I do know that you can like, comment, and subscribe. So why don't you go ahead and do that? Just do it right now. Just do it.